Hey everybody and welcome to All the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League is rated R. It was released on HBO Max on March the 18th. It is a whopping four hours and two minutes long. It is, of course, directed by Zack Snyder. It does star Gal Gadot as a Wonder Woman, Ben Affleck as Batman, Henry Cavill as Superman, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, Ezra Miller as The Flash, and Ray Fisher as a Cyborg. Of course, this is the version that we were supposed to have gotten back in 2017. Yes, the poster behind me that is from Justice League 2017. I don't have the one for this one yet, but we're gonna just deal with that. So of course, that one is directed by Josh Whedon, and it is absolutely hated by so, so many people especially like the hardcore DC fans so with that said let me go ahead and go on with my little disclaimer that I pretty much say in every superhero review that I do I know a lot of people say it doesn't really matter but I feel like it kind of does matter so I will continue to say it I am not somebody who is a hardcore DC or Marvel fan I don't follow like the comic books I never saw any of the cartoons the only knowledge that I have on the superhero world is from the movies that we received. I've only seen two animated movies, which honestly I saw Thursday before I saw the movie, which honestly I'm very, very glad that I did because one of the movies introduced me to a character that I had never seen who makes a surprise cameo within Zack Snyder's version. I went, oh, I know who that is and if I had not seen it I would have been like I don't know who the fuck that is I have no idea that's kind of my disclaimer that's the knowledge that I have upon uh, this world so this is kind of a review from just like a common watcher somebody who enjoys these type of movies but it's not like a hardcore diehard fan I probably am going to give a couple spoilers so I just want to pre-warn you I may not but just in case something does slip out there goes another like spoiler um alert that i may say some spoilers around this review i didn't have a problem with justice league 2017 version um with my rewatch i was like okay i'm not gonna like this okay because people keep talking shit about it now that i know that apparently it's a shitty movie i'm gonna be like oh yeah i'm gonna see it now i'm gonna pay attention and I'm gonna see it. I'm like, yeah, there's like issues obviously with it, especially after watching Zack Snyder's version. I'm like, okay, I see it. But I'm not gonna lie to you, because I'm not gonna lie. I still enjoyed it for what it was. You know, again, I'm not a hardcore DC fan, and I'm sure for other people who are not hardcore, probably like the movie still is shit. Personally, and my sister rewatched it with me. We're like, we really don't have a problem with it. Now the biggest question might be, is four hours really necessary? And simply, no, I don't really think four hours and two minutes long um, was a necessary length for this movie. I think they could have done it in like three and a half um, hours, which I know it's still a long movie, three and a half hours. It, it has a lot, a lot, a lot of slow motions in the movie, okay, you guys? It's done nicely, but I feel like the slow motion kind of is supposed to like build up to something more like, whoo, right? Unnecessary moments in slow motion for me would have been with Aquaman when he's like walking down the pier. I guess you could say that's like for the females because I mean, he's shirtless and I'm like, why do you keep taking off your shirt? You came out of the damn water with your shirt on. I appreciate, you know, all this going on, but we could have done without it to be honest with you, but I appreciate it. All right, you, guys, you know what? Let, let's get away from the negativity. I'm honestly just nitpicking at it. Let me go ahead and go on with some positives about the movie and we'll probably circle back to some things that I, you know, the issues that I had with it besides the time, the slow motion part of it. That might have been it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Positives, you guys. Positives. We get way, way, way better story arcs. A way better... Obviously, it's four hours long, so we do get to focus more on each character, especially Cyborg. We got way, 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 way more out of him in this movie. In the 2017 version, 
he's kind of just there he's kind of like i don't know where popping up it's like okay i kind of forgot you were here you get more of a sense of his relationship with his dad and in this movie he is definitely the heart of the team uh there is more of a team effort they're more a uh, team building development of each character throughout the movie was like top notch the other one also was the flash in this version he's not like big old time scary cat like he was in the 2017 version i mean even in 17 <laughs> i think it's a teenth or whatever anyways in the other version um you know he did with that whole moment of i don't really fight i just kind of push people away run away don't have that scene here anymore honestly a lot of the comical stuff was taken out of this movie i was missing some of them to be honest with you but I totally understand his slow motion. I know I did say I have issues with slow motion, but we we do get certain parts like that. I'm just like, okay, that was cool. Like with him, like literally racing out of his shoes and like breaking the window. Like that was really neat. I mean, towards the uh, last act, I feel like we could sped it up a little bit more. I mean, I get it. We're giving him his moment, but at the same time, it's like, did we really need to have that long of a moment? Like it again, it's a four hour fucking movie, which the studio wouldn't have allowed Zack Snyder to have released these two uh two this four hour movie if even if it did come out in 2017 they would have had him cut it in half we would have had two parts to it and honestly if it, we had gotten two separate movies I wouldn't have really liked the first part because it is really just a build-up to be honest with you the first part of the movie is just building up to obviously the more action stuff pack scene that we're going to get towards the last two hours of it. I mean, it's the same premise. We are getting the Justice League together. We're trying to stop not Steppenwolf in this uh, particular deal. We do have the boss man, which would be uh, the dark side, which again, I don't know none of this shit right here, but you know, that's what people that were in the movie. Um, so apparently he's like uh, higher up and you feel more for the villain here. He has more of a purpose of why he's doing what he's doing, which I totally appreciate. And before I go any further, let me just say that freaking Steppenwolf in this fucking movie was a way, way better looking villain. The version in 2017 that might have been one of my biggest like things is like you're not very villainous like but he was way way better looking in this movie you guys now the last little nitpick i did have was with the cgi that's more so with the amazons when they're especially when they're doing those close-ups i was like oh no that's terrible when well, you could really tell and it wasn't really discreet and i could have really had done without those because that really threw it off for me also zach what the fuck is wrong with you with killing all these damn horses in this version because in the other one, there was only two horse, horses that died. And there was like so, so many horses. I'm like, no, not any more horses. Like, you can kill all the damn Amazonian women you want, but you better leave those damn horses alone. I am the one that will root for the animal to survive. You can kill all the people that you want, but you better leave the damn animals alone. Also, I didn't really like the darkness um, about the movie. Well, okay, let me scratch that. I didn't mind the darkness throughout most of the movie but when we were in the amazonian location i would have preferred it to have been more brighter i do like that to look you know have more light towards it uh, i wasn't really particularly fond of how dark it was before i do give you my score if you haven't already if you can be so kind and hit that subscribe button that would be amazing go ahead and give it a like don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new this was tricky with the score you guys it really was if the 2017 version did not exist i would have given this one a medium popcorn but because the 2017 version does exist and if I had my channel at that time, I would have given Josh Whedon's version a medium popcorn. Zack Snyder's version is way better. It really is. So it is getting a large popcorn, you guys. I did watch it in one four hour long sitting. I almost, almost didn't make it, you guys. But that could be just me because I didn't watch it on Thursday. But it was getting pretty late. But then we did get to, like, the really exciting part. And it just kind of, you know, woke me up. I was like, okay, yes. But, of course, if you don't have four hours to spare, um, it is set up in chapters. So it does have a really nice 
like in point oh also the epilogue you guys which is just like a long very very long two in credit scenes that again we really didn't need because like i mean are we even gonna get these movies i i i mean as far as i'm aware of ben affleck is done with batman the joker some of you are probably waiting to see what my thoughts are on the joker he comes out in the epilogue in that nightmare batman nightmare scene i enjoyed what we got of him i like that version of jerry leto obviously way better than what we got from suicide squad i just wish we had got more of him i really did like i'm like okay i think now i'm for sure done with this review it's a long one you guys but you know it's again it's four hours of content if you've seen Zack Snyder's Justice League let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you did you watch it all in the four hour setting or did you split it up throughout the day or throughout the few days let me know down below all right you guys that is it for me today of course until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye